What's happening, my wonderful people? Our very own brother, the governor of Edo State and that of Bayesa State, have started a peace movement. Governor Dale and Obaseki visits Okowa, the vice presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in Delta State, to see how they can bring the G5 governors back to the party. They've finally acknowledged and have agreed that without the G5 governors coming back, the chances of PDP ever making a win in this election is going to be so slim, they cannot even begin to imagine. So these are some of the things that are happening and then um, you can't begin to imagine. Every single person is, wait is waiting patiently to see what follows. As um, Governor Gordon Obaseki and the Governor of Bayesa State goes on to say, let us see how we could possibly make a difference in all of this. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State and Governor Dari of Bayesa State visit Okowa in of Bayesa State visit Okowa in Delta State pleads and says we want G5 governors back. Without them, it will be difficult to win the election. Doye Dari, Governor of Bayesa said the unity of People Democratic Party is a priority as the 2023 election draws closer. Dari spoke to journalists after a visit to Ifan Yokowa, governor of Delta State. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State was also present. He said the party hopes to discuss with the G5 to convince them to support the People Democratic Party and to work for the victory of his presidential candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. We want to unite PDP and each time we meet, we focus and discuss the unity, he said. We are not ruling out speaking to our brothers. Even today, we have also discussed the possibility of speaking to them to return to our party and to support so we can all make a headway. We are calling on our brothers, our brother governors to be part of their own party and work in unity with every other person. We still want our brother governors to come back and we can still visit them and work together. Our brother governor, Governor Okowa, who by God's grace happens to be the vice presidential candidate, is ready to do everything possible as we are all set to ensure we work at this. We are all going to work for it and we are going to make everything possible to bring them back into the folds. This is what we do. We are speaking to the Delta State Governor, Baseki said, as he congratulates Okowa, wish him well for the election and says we still need the G5 governors. It is a new year. We go around felicitating as a family. We wish each other and pray well that the new year will bring good tidings for us as a party. He said, we are here today to wish our brother, Senator Okowa, Governor of Delta State, the Vice Presidential Candidate of the People Democratic Party in 2023 presidential election very well. We wish him well in this election and by the grace of God, he will be the next Vice President of the country. We pray God Almighty will make our dreams come true in 2023. We want, we want uh, them, we want every one of the G5 back. We're going to do everything to ensure we get them back on track. We will speak to them and bring them back to the folds. So this is what is happening. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki, I did not know that he has a heart for them to return. Or, you know, I did not know because um, you won't we think that Obaseki will be part of the G5. Now the G5, we know that uh, Wiki is the fourth runner of the G5. We know that is right. You know, at the fourth of is the fourth. Um, is right at the forefront with regards to all of this. Anyway, my wonderful people, you can see for yourself that um, it is what it is. And Nigerians, you and I are the determinant of what happens going on from here. We can't sit back and, and, and just assume that everything is suddenly going to fall in place if we don't do what we are supposed to do. There is a path for us all to play. But what are we doing to ensure that at the end of the day, this path is, you know, is kept and uh, at the end of the day, this path is you know, well looked after. Every single person, every single one of us 
you know, do everything humanly speaking possible to bring this country right back on track as it should be. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And it is essential. It is important. We see it for what it is and we, you know, we will we, we ride on, on that very, uh, you know, we will take a ride on that and make sure that we are all advancing and moving on one direction together. And, you know, one direction, that's the way we can truly make the lot of difference. Anyway, my wonderful people, you can say for yourself that, you know, all that glitters is no good. And then um, if there's anything called change, it is high time we begin to, you know, work at it and ensure that the change becomes our reality. Anyway, my wonderful people, the days are upon us right now and every single one of us must tell the truth and must ensure we do everything humanly speaking possible to bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. We must ensure that we rise up to the occasion, okay, and we do everything that we can, okay, and we do everything that we can to ensure that um, we, we bring this country where, we, where it ought to be, okay, so it is what it is, okay, it is what it is, and uh, we all just have to uh, bring, you know, this nation and bring everybody right back on, right back on trap, you know, so it, it, is a, it is a matter of urgent attention uh, for those who want to misunderstand the issue that is going on right now and just, you know, give it another name. It is high time we all begin to, you know, ensure that we rise up and we do everything we can. Okay, so if you if we don't do it, if we don't rise up and we allow certain things to hold us down, at the end of the day, we'll be the one at the receiving end. So they want a wiki and they want the rest of them back. But how much, you know, with them being back, how does that really help the people or help the nation? Does it, does it refocus the nation? Does it refocus the nation? Or how, how will we really know those who are right for us and those who are just pretentious? Because you don't know, you don't know. You know, you know. Right? You don't know, you don't know. You know, you know. So these are very serious um, matters right now unfolding. And every single person must do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that at the end of the day, as a nation and as a people, we are truly forging ahead, moving forward and doing everything humanly speaking possible to bring us all to where we ought to be. Okay? The days upon us have come to show to us that, you know, Nigerians, we must work at it. We must do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that this nation is truly transformed and this nation become the nation that it ought to be. Yes, because uh, everything that is happening right now, with all that is going on, it is important that we know ourselves. Bye for now.